as we head into Tuesday, expecting again that to be by far one of our most active days in a while and probably one of our most active days of the week as we're not expecting much more except another system just before the weekend. Now from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., really just not expecting much showers at times. Wind gusts start to approach 40 miles per hour. And again, remember, wind's going to be a factor, storms or no storms. And then those wind gusts go over 40 miles per hour by the afternoon. Temperatures increase. That could be the fuel for some of the storms. Look at all the impacts after 6 p.m. or maybe even starting at 6 p.m. Heaviest of the rain, st severe storm threat, wind gusts 45 to 60 miles per hour, and then storms finally start to exit after we get after uh, midnight or at least closer to midnight. So uh, the further west you are, the sooner the storms arrive, but also the later or the earlier the storms start to uh, push out as well. Highest threat for now down into Georgia, portions of Florida, but those storms still expected to be very strong as they head our way. All of us under some type of severe weather threat. Wouldn't be surprised if we can get more instability if this threat maybe became a level three threat, uh, level three threat, but we're also expecting instability. The fuel these storms need to maybe be hard to come by aerial wide. So just a lot to talk about as we head into Tuesday. Thankfully, tonight's going to be quiet. And as we head to tomorrow, expecting pretty quiet weather as well. We've had a few clouds today, still some sunshine, though, and even a couple sprinkles, though most of those have decided to fizzle out. As we look out for PGV, ground is drier than it was 24 hours ago. Things less foggy at the coast than they were 24 hours ago. And it was just a wet and windy day yesterday, but still expecting it to be worse as we head into Tuesday, as that is still our strongest storm system. Temperatures in the 50s, but will start to drop, drop down into the 40s. 49 in Elizabeth City, 46 in Roanoke Rapids, winds out of the west, northwest, anywhere from about 5 to 10, maybe slightly over 10 in a couple of places. Winds probably not completely going away tonight but they will die down a little bit more, especially inland, though we will still have a wind chill probably closer to the coast. Near freezing inland, mid to upper 30s could feel like close to freezing along the coastline. For tomorrow, we're expecting everything to be quiet. Don't have any issues. You have to worry about the kids getting to school or home from school as it's just really a cold start and a cool afternoon as we head throughout our Monday. Tuesday going to be a different story. Probably will be easier to get them to school and back to school before those storms arrive, but still going to have some rumbles and thunder, definitely some rain in the morning around 7 a.m., but most of that heavier rain continues to be well off to the west. You can start to see some of that instability develop in South Carolina and then track up towards us. And as we approach 3 p.m., still not much going on for us. It's really going to be a late arrival for these storms. As we get closer to 6, right there along I-95, may start to see that line initially move through. And just look how strong this line looks. This looks like something we get in spring and instead of January. So once we warm up, that's going to be the fuel for these storms and hoping that maybe that instability will be a problem. But considering how dry it looks earlier in the day, we may just not see that happen. Wind gusts also expected to be an issue becoming 40 to 50 miles per hour, whether we have storms or not, though it's a pretty good bet that we do have storms coming in on Tuesday. Definitely our warmest day over the next week, though we do see temperatures try to spike again as we head into Friday and Saturday morning. But uh, for now, Tuesday just continues to be that day. Have multiple ways to get warnings, especially through the evening. If you're not home by 6 o'clock, could be a tough time getting home as a line of storms pushes in. And uh, the winds, you know, storms, even before the storms arrive, could have some isolated power outages due to just how strong some of those normal wind gusts uh, start to crank up throughout the day. So correct if I'm wrong, Monday, kind of quiet on the home front. Yeah, we're right? good Monday. And then we go into Tuesday. It's a whole different story. It is. And although we call it a first alert weather day for people like me, non weather people, maybe a first alert weather n evening. It will evening ish. night, but I think those yeah. winds, especially through the rest of the day, still get strong okay. enough where we could have some issues. All right. Thanks, Zach.